to my channel where I get to bring forward incredible messages from higher dimensional energies and galactic friends and all sorts of wonderful light codes and light language. And I am bringing through a message from the Syrian Council of Light and they are talking specifically about the experience of fear. For those of us that are spiritual beings having this energetic experience on the earth at this time, and it can be one that's very challenging. It can be one where we really do get stuck in the past and we might be going through all sorts of lower level experiences and emotions, remembering things or dealing with trauma, um, looking at scenarios and wishing that they had happened a different way or wishing that we had done something a little bit different. Or it can be fear in the future. What's going to happen? What is this scenario could happen this way or that way? Or it could be in the very moment, being fearful of something that you're going through. You know, maybe you're about to go on stage and give a presentation or you're going to do a Zoom call or something like that. So there's many different levels and experiences of fear that we go through. And the reason I find this quite interesting and different than usual is normally these energies come through. We create incredible paintings together. Uh, they're filled with light codes and light language. And I then share the art process. In this particular situation, codes have come through and it's going to be with a video that I actually shot when I was camping. And the video is the moon rise over the lake. And the reason I'm bringing this up before the video is because um, depending on where you're at, especially if you're, you know, in this now moment, you found this video and you're here for a reason. So trust your instincts. Um, you might be in a state where you're feeling some fear or anticipatory anxiety or something like that. And so it's a beautiful scene of the moon over the water. But if you're in a fearful state, you might look at that and go, oh my gosh, that's like kind of Halloweeny spooky or whatever your experience is. So I invite you to have the experience you're having. If it's feeling a little uncomfortable, but you still want to watch the video and you're feeling connected to it, then please enjoy that. Don't push it away. Have that experience. That's part of the message that's coming through. So they are really bringing forward a really interesting perspective on fear, how it manifests for us, how we are manifesting it as spiritual beings in our human body, and also uh, how to move through it and deal with fear in the moment. So I found this really, really useful myself. I hope you do. If it resonates, please do leave a message in the comments below because you never know who you might be helping simply by sharing an experience that you yourself are going through or have gone through. Um, as usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ping! <laughs> it really does help as a small channel to get the word out. And perhaps you know somebody in your life that this message will really resonate with. And lastly, I just want to leave you with the um, remembrance that you have the ability to choose the experience, not just the video, but also going through a fear state. So if you find that you don't like the video, listen to the audio. If you love the audio, um, put that on, you know, whatever it works for you. And there are uh, different chapters below that you can click through so you can go to different points in the discussion. So if you're just looking for the how do I get rid of fear? How do I move through that state? Click below and you can go directly there. And lastly, I just want to remind you that if you are new to light language and light codes, do check out this video here. It will give you a brief introduction to it and how this really will resonate for you as a being that is beginning to have a spiritual awakening and journey and getting conscious of all of the different aspects in your life that you get to choose. So there you go. That's the intro. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this message. This is the Syrian Council of Light uh, came through with a blended voice to speak to you about fear and how to move through it. All right, you guys, I will catch you at the end of the video. Greetings, dear ones. We are here as representatives of the Syrian Council of Light. And in this now moment, we come uh, brought forward through the intention of this conduit to channel messages for those of you that are in a fear state. Uh, this is quite common throughout the life and experience of those 
of you who are in this third dimensional reality at this time. There are many timelines converging and in these points of convergence there are opportunities for you to create within yourself and uh, as a side effect uh, in those around you different changes and alternate paths of existing. And as these points uh, come to an apex, you may find that you are in a state that may be fearful or anxious, apprehensive. Uh, you may be in a moment where you feel very stuck, like you cannot make any decisions, but yet have an overwhelming feeling that a decision must be made. And often with this, a sensation of uh, expedience, that it needs to happen quickly, that if you are not making a choice, uh, sometimes even if you do not know what that choice is, but you have this underlying sensation within your body and being that it needs to happen quickly and that it needs to happen uh, with clear intention. And this, of course, can put much stress upon the human, much stress upon your existence, for you are no longer living in the moment uh, of your option of free choice. You are instead creating for yourself uh, a cage of sorts. Uh, one, uh, perhaps uh, the analogy of a box that you are in. And you feel that you are uh, in this box with no choices and that you are in fact facing the corner. You cannot see anything except for the seam in the wall where the two walls are meeting. And this, of course, is that convergence of choice. Now, of course, the two walls meet in a single seam. It is a single direction. But there are the two walls, and you are uh, standing in this position, deciding which one do I wish to follow, when in fact both will actually take you to the same place. Now, what do we mean by this? Uh, it is that you have uh, many different choices within your life. You have the free will to choose. Uh, should I go to college? Should I take uh, this particular job? Should I have uh, this particular relationship? Should I uh, buy this kumquat or buy oranges instead? Many of them may feel light. Many of them may feel uh, heavy and like there is a resonance that may continue throughout your life period. Yet in these moments of doubt and insecurity, know that this is part of the process and one that is valuable to you, dear one. For what it is doing is giving you the opportunity yet again, as you may say to yourself, ah, here we are again in this exact same place. And what am I learning from it? I am learning the ability to choose. I am learning discernment. What do I like and not like? I am learning self-confidence. I am learning to trust myself and I am accessing my intuition. How does it feel in my body and being in addition to my mind? So all of these choices that are coming to a point for you in this now moment when you are in this state of fear and apprehension, remember that there are tools within that may help you move through. You can access through the mental state of relaxation, through meditation and focus. You can learn through the physical by doing a multitude of methods ranging from conscious awareness of your physical being, anchoring your spiritual into your physical, learning to trust the feelings and sensations within the body and follow the path that they are leading you, and learning what methods work to help you to relax your body and your beingness, your nervous system, all the systems in the body that may be agitated because you are in this state of flight, fight, or freeze. Now you may call it PTSD, but uh, it does not have to be to that extreme. These are natural moments that happen. These are natural stressors within the body, and your body is created to be able to handle them. It is simply a matter of becoming conscious of what you are going through. 
for in that state of conscious awareness you can then make choice which brings us back to these points of access am i going to choose to go to the right or to the left am i going up am i going down am i continuing on the path that i am on now when it comes to these moments in your experience of fear how do we take these principles of conscious awareness how do we take this information that you have learned into the state in order to move through it but more importantly to be aware of the choices that you have in order to create a state of living that is comforting, expansive, creative, and supportive for you on your earth journey. The first step is understanding that you are in a state of heightened awareness. You are in a state of multiple emotions that can come together to create the sensation of fear. It is very easy in this place to reside primarily in the mind because the mind is incredibly creative. It will, for you, find different scenarios and ideas and extrapolate upon them based on your past experience, based on your anxiety or apprehension about the future. Uh, this state of future projection is actually very similar to what you would call manifesting. And so you may ask, what do I do when I am in this space where I have fear? I am afraid of what I am seeing or what may happen. I am afraid for myself or my loved ones, and I do not know what to do. And so this is where you have the opportunity to take the tools and the experience that you have gathered to this point and to use them to your advantage in a way that is suitable for you. Now each of you will have your own methods and ways, and so we give to you a general guideline outline. As you now have this ability to be consciously aware in your life, so too will you have it in a fear state. The emotion of fear can be an accumulation of many experiences from past, and from those which are projecting into the future. And this is a state that is very similar to manifesting because you are taking a very clear, focused energy within yourself, but at a different vibration than manifesting. In this vibration, which is often stronger because you are familiar with being in these lower vibrational densities throughout your lifetime. And so there is much experience and energy to draw upon. It feels familiar. It feels in an unusual way uh, comforting because of the familiarity. And so you are taking it and focusing it and projecting it into the future. You might have the sensation of what would it feel like if this particular situation happened? What would I be thinking? What would I be seeing? What would happen to me? What would happen to those I love and those that are around me? What would happen to the environment that I'm in or the world at large? And so a bunch of energy is put into it. And you are, in fact, creating that state. And this is why, for many of you, you will find that the more you focus on the fear state, the stronger it becomes. It becomes larger, uh, like if you were making a snowball and rolling it down the hill in wet snow, and the more you roll it, the bigger it becomes and more packs onto it and it gets larger. And so this is the same with your energy. So this is how it can become very easy to go from being slightly worried or anxious to very fearful. And so when this is beginning to start in your system, you have the conscious awareness. If you can, to catch it 
and say, aha, here I am in this place. I am feeling fearful. What can I do in this moment? And in this place, you have many experiences and methods and tools to draw upon from your past experience. There are many that are available to you. You may speak to practitioners or friends or family members. You may look online. You will see that there are many different methods that will work for you in your own way, whether that is through the physicality of the body or through calming the mind, through spiritual practices such as meditation. But the importance is to become aware and then to be sure that you are anchoring the mental and spiritual aspects of yourself into the physical. For it is very easy in fear to forget the body. The body may not feel safe, and so you are lifting up and out and becoming completely in that thought form. And this is where there is that ability, because you are a master creator, dear one, there is that ability for you to manifest it, to feel it, to be in that state of vibrational frequency of fear that is so overwhelming and powerful that the more you are tapping into it, the larger it grows. In these moments, of awareness to find a method that works for you even if it is very simple to breathe to follow the breath to focus on your breath breathe and allow your mental and physical and spiritual bodies to connect feel into the physical where do you feel the state of fear Feel into the spiritual. Are you outside of the body or can you stay within? Can you use your physical eyes with those of your third eye to create a space of calm? To pull yourself out of thinking of the fear state and projecting into the future of different scenarios and outcomes? Can you pull yourself back in and find that mental space of calm, even if it is only for a breath or two. And as you begin to do this, the mental state begins to relax because you are taking care of yourself on all levels and you are bringing your vibration up to a different frequency, one where the fear state is not as accessible. This is how you move through it. You feel it, you acknowledge it, and then you make a conscious choice. Do I wish to continue on and explore different aspects of that fear, or am I going to take a moment, become embodied with my mental, spiritual, and physical, and bring my vibration into a different state? simply by acknowledging your breath. And so this is one simple method to pull yourself out. We wish to leave you with the information to support you that the concepts and experience of fear are no less valid than those of joy or those of calm. They are simply different experiences. The choice is up to you. Now that you are becoming aware of your abilities and powers as a creator being, you now have the additional information. As a conscious creator, do I wish to manifest more of this fear state and create it with others? For this is how it works. The more of you that are focused on a particular scenario or outcome, the more of you will create it. So you are contributing towards a feeling or a state. And as you do that, you begin 
to manifest it. It begins to come forward. Or do I wish to stay uh, neutral and exist the way that I have? Or do I wish to try a different vibrational state? Perhaps one of calm, perhaps one of joy in uh, something that you love to do, a hobby or a activity. The choice is up to you, dear one. And now you have the ability to say, I have the awareness to choose how I wish to experience my life. And now I am going to begin to use all of these tools that I have been gathering over the past few years, all of this information that I have been hearing about, experiencing, seeing others do, trying different methods, trying different ideas, experimenting, looking, watching, reading. So that doing. was the close to real time creation of the painting the times that done with the high frequency group for. called the Blue this Avians and I've entitled this one Genesis you because it has that feeling of now bringing forth for you new energies and light action. and I hope that you really enjoyed that Many of you have if you do or you have any questions pop them in below thank you so much for taking the time event. to enjoy with me you can but find my art at art.tanyaqc.com in the and small if moments. you feel like subscribing, please because do. In it's a wonderful moments, community of star seeds and spiritual seekers. On how to all right, we'll see you in the next video. Experience. Bye. And as you are doing that, you are teaching all of those that are around you, whether they are seeing it, hearing it, experiencing it, or simply seeing you in a situation that they themselves are about to go into or have had, and watching you create a different outcome and wondering to themselves, can I do that as well? How are they able to remain so calm when everyone else is afraid? This is your time, dear one. Choose wisely, but enjoy the experience that you are creating. We love you. We are grateful to be here to support you in this time of magic and magnitude of energy and the vibrational shift on the planet that you are creating. We are representatives of the Syrian Council of Light, and it has been our honor to speak with you in this now moment. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I really did. I'm always amazed sometimes at the messages that come through and the timing of them. So I think for me personally, this was really resonant, and I really like the techniques that they shared. And I hope that you do too. If you found this useful, if you're resonating with it, if it's information that you find valuable, please comment below and let me know. It really does help me to create content that's specific to what you need as you're going through your spiritual awakening as a star seed or a light worker. And it's very helpful for me to get feedback from you. So please leave a comment below. And like I always say, you never know who you might be helping simply by sharing an experience that you've gone through. Because sometimes people are too shy to share, but are really here looking for a community. Um, and so on a last note, I just want to remind you, if you are looking for community and a place where you can feel free to discuss who you are and your star seed experience or your light worker experience, your spiritual experience, Check out my Star Seed Chat with Tanya group on the Telegram app. It's free, and, and it's I would really love to see you there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video.